This video will demonstrate Vision Engineering's Dimension 2 software, which has been developed for the EvoCam 2. So when we open up the software, the main part of the screen is the video image. So with that we can then place our part we wish to mark up and measure into the screen. So we might need to adjust the brightness of the image, so we can then control the exposure time and exposure settings here, gain and iris. You can also control the um, illumination of the camera until we're happy with the image that we see. We can then select suitable magnification. So I might want to just focus that up, make sure I'm happy with that. And then maybe zoom down so I can see all the elements I want to include. So to begin our measurement or markup, we can just select features here. So I can draw a rectangle, draw a circle to highlight areas. I maybe want to include some text. label up these features. If I want to do some measurements we've got here point, line, circle, distance and angle. So to measure the angle of this track bend I simply just do a line, position up the crosshair and enter the points. So that's my first edge measured. Can then measure a second edge here. And then to get the angle between I select just angle, select the two edges and I can measure the angle. If I wanted the perpendicular angle I can then select the angle and I can toggle through with this option here. So I can then see perpendicular, outside perpendicular, outside angle and then back to internal. If I want to contrast that a bit better I just simply select the angle and then I can step through the colours to show the result a bit better. If I want to measure maybe the um, the gap between these two tracks, I can do that. So ordinarily I would just pick the line and construct them, but this time I'm going to use the active crosshair. So as I pick out on that edge, the software is actually finding the edge for me. So I'm just going to change the colour for these measurements, something like that. So this time all I do is just click, move the crosshair, click and construct the feature. So as you can see it's far quicker um, and requires less um, accuracy from me but it should also be more repeatable between multiple operators. So I can then simply just click those two points, get the two angles and then if I want to know the distance between them, select distance, click on the two lines and construct my measurement. Again I can then change through feature to uh, highlight the dimension. If I want to sort of wash out the dimensions so that the image is more um, important I can do that. Or I can do the reverse where I can wash out the image and make the dimensions more important. Once I'm happy with the image I can then simply print 
save or email off this information. To begin a new um, measurement, I just click play, place a new subject under the camera, choose a suitable magnification, maybe adjust the lighting to enhance the edges a bit better and then I can begin my measurements. So if I want to know perhaps the distance from this arc to this arc first construct the circle and then I just toggle through to an arc. So if I want to know the distance between the two I can then do distance from this arc to this arc and it will give me the distance from the two centres. If I don't want the distance between the two centres I want to know sort of maybe the maximum. Again I can use change to toggle through those options. If I want to know maybe the angle of this bottom piece here, again I can just click line, construct an edge there, and an edge here, and then the angle between, I simply just select angle, select the two lines and can construct the feature. If I want to know where these two lines meet I could always do a point where this line and this line intersect and it will give me the location. So that's basically a quick run through of the software. If you have any questions or would like more information please contact Vision Engineering. Thank you.